Professionals, including chief executive officers of superannuation funds in the Pacific region, are in Port Mosby for the annual Pacific Islands Investment Forum. I'd like to share with you how Bank of Papua... Gracing the official opening of the PIIF was Prime Minister James Marape. Minister responsible for international trade and investment in the country, a proud Richard Maru, told the forum that Papua New Guinea has a lot to offer in terms of resources, hence will be a conducive spot for investment and business-related activities. Papua New Guinea has got resource projects that have got life, average of over 20 years, and we've got new projects now starting. The resource projects will underpin our economy, and if they all start coming online this year, I see a construction boom for the next 15 years to 20 years running. Minister Maru said PNG is always looking out for investment partners in the Pacific region. He further provided a brief update on existing mining projects in the country. Of the resource projects we have at the moment, Octedi we have 11 years left officially, but we've just, by way of a government decision, we've tried to extend the life of the mine by a further 20 years, meaning Octedi will run for another 30 years. Lear has 13 years left. Ramonical 18. Pogara, we're trying to get started very soon. Be another uh, 20 years. Hidden Valley, 8 years we got. The Kananto Mine, another 10 years. PNG LNG, another 20 years. So basically, these resource projects undermine or underpin our economy. Mr. Maru further assured everyone at the forum of a safe space if one is interested to invest in PNG. Other speakers who spoke at the opening of the PIIF included Acting Governor of Bank of PNG, Elizabeth Genia, Scott Sandling, Senior Vice President of ExxonMobil, and Professor David Kawanamur, Director of Kumul Consolidated Holdings. All their addresses echoed the same message, which is PNG has a lot to offer in terms of resources, both renewable and non-renewable. Lindy Suharupa, National MTV News.